guys, it's your coach Marissa Johnson. Today I'm going to share with you how to foam roll and or roll out your muscles. And I'm also going to tell you why it's super duper important. So stay tuned. So first off, I'm going to explain why foam rolling is so important. Now when I say foam rolling, I basically mean like putting pressure on your muscles. And I actually don't use an actual foam roller because they're really squishy and to, to me. Um, if you're a first time foam roller, maybe. But it, I feel like harder balls, such as big medicine balls or lacrosse balls especially, can really help you dig in your muscles and find where you're hurting. Um, but anyways, so why do you want to foam roll? Basically, when you foam roll, it helps break up some of the adhesion and connective tissue in your muscles. So this is really good part of the recovery process for your muscles, really good after a workout. But it's even good for before a workout because when you roll out your muscles, it will increase the blood flow and help you move better. So if you want to roll out before your tennis match, it's going to help you feel a little looser and just feel ready to go. So whether you have a foam roller or a couple of balls of sorts, um, I'm going to show you kind of what to do and how to do it. It's kind of different uh, for everyone because maybe you're hurting somewhere that I'm not hurting. But the goal for rolling out is to find where those muscles are hurting and when you target those muscles to put pressure on them. A really good thing to do is just kind of hold, um, hold the ball where the pressure is to about 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. It's gonna be painful, that's kind of the point of it. Um, but just keep breathing in and out through your nose. So I'm gonna start just with the lacrosse ball on my calves. So I just kinda, just kinda roll on it. Feel a little tightness whenever I find the tight spot. Um, I just kind of put the pressure on it. Feel a tight spot right there. Just kind of move around and, and look for those spots. Side. Once you've moved on from that area, I always kind of target the big muscles. I do my quads next. And I always start with this bigger one or maybe a foam roller, just to, um, it's such a big muscle, just kind of like to loosen it a little bit. And then when I feel like I've broken up the adhesion a little bit better, then I go for the lacrosse ball. I always find a spot right here close to my hip. put the pressure on it and you want to roll on these muscles from like uh, kind of like a 45 degree angles like right here right there not not directly on top but just kind of that 45 degree angle of course you do both both sides and then I kind of loosen up the back too put a lot of pressure on it here I do this a lot you always want to have like a hard surface that you're putting this pressure on, not, not necessarily like a squishy mat because then you can't feel as much pressure. So try to find a hard surface like the floor is a really good one. Next I'm going to target my back and I find the best way to do this is to just lean up against the wall and put the lacrosse ball behind you and kind of move it for, for yourself and look for certain spots that Hurt. You can find a lot in your lower back especially. Just keep breathing when you find that spot. Found one. It's just very important to keep that pressure when you find that spot. Hold it there, stay strong. You can find a lot in your upper shoulder here, especially the back right here. I know a lot of tennis players have that tight shoulder from this serving. Yep, that's nice. First time you try this, it's probably 
probably gonna hurt a lot. But trust me, it'll be good. Oh, I fell on it. I like this. And then after you do your back, lower back, shoulders, all of that, uh, you still want to get the stomach and especially right here. When when I have to get this spot, I just use the lacrosse ball to add pressure to it. Kind of roll it around and, and look for the certain spot. It's always typically right there. That feels really awful yet nice at the same time. You can roll this down your arms. This, if this is a spot for a lot of players with tennis elbow, just massage it out. It's nice. And then normally to get my stomach area, um, it's, it's kind of tricky. I just either massage it with my hand and just add that pressure, or I, or I can move the lacrosse ball down. Or if you're hardcore, you can lay on, lay on the ball and move it around. You can get a lot on the side here. And then of course, we don't want to forget the feet, so off and so basically that is how you roll out your muscles slash foam roll even though I have to use a foam roller um, I honestly don't think I ever need a foam roller I just always go straight for these hard stuff um, it normally takes me about I'll say 45 minutes to really get my whole body rolled out. And this is something I advise everyone, any athlete, or just anybody to do every day, anybody that works out. Um, because this really is important for muscle recovery and just for making sure that you just feel good. It feels really nice. So yeah, just schedule yourself about 45 minutes. I strongly suggest just ordering yourself a lacrosse ball on Amazon and just do it. I promise you this is something very crucial. It's gonna help you feel like you can move better. You're gonna loosen up your muscles. You're gonna increase blood flow. You're gonna break up all those knots where, wherever they are in your body. And if you do this regularly, you're gonna be super thankful. So that is how to roll out your muscles. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just comment below. Do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.